Hi peeps, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all having a great day. Okay, today I'm going to do a video. Uh, I hope it doesn't go too long. But these are, this is a video on some of my favorite things. Now it's just a mishmash of things. Uh, I suppose I should be a little more organized in this and do uh, my favorite skincare, my favorite hair mask, my favorite this and that. But I just grabbed some things that I've been using regularly for a little while now. And um, when you see me introduce something, it does, and you may have seen me use something else in a different video, it doesn't mean that I no longer use that. But these are just things that I'm using now and I'm really loving, but it doesn't mean that I don't love those things because I love everything. I love everything, okay? So let me put my glasses on so we can get started. And like I said, I just grabbed a bunch of different things. Uh, first thing I am loving is my hair turbans. I love my hair turbans. I have several of them now. They are great. They're microfiber. Buy the best one you can afford because the microfiber is better in some of them than others. They absorb. What this does is it cuts down drying time. It absorbs most of the moisture from your hair. I love it because I can absorb all of the unwanted moisture in my hair and slap a mask on and the mask is actually laying on my hair versus going through all the water. So this is great. And I don't care if you think I'm nuts, but that's what I believe. Okay? So I'm loving my hair mask. The next thing that I'm really enjoying, now remember I just did a video on a bunch of shower gels, but I've been using this one a lot, trying to get used to the scent because it does have a stronger scent, but uh, I have been really enjoying the Yes to Carrots Body uh, Shower Gel. I think it's, um, it's very nice, it's very affordable, and you can get this at most drugstores, Target, Walmart, I don't know if it's at Walgreens because I don't shop at a Walgreens or a CVS. But uh, I'm sure that you can find, I can, I get it in my grocery store. So it's very nice. It does have a very strong scent. However, it is cruelty free. And uh, I know that it's very important. It has no parabens and it's free of petroleum and uh, SLS. Okay? So I'm loving that. The next thing I am loving, and I'm going to go, well, I'm just going to go in whatever order I pull them up. Uh, I had talked about the company One. Uh, I had done one of their masks on. Well, I was able to go to Ulta and I found their um, uh, body scrub by them. It's called Sun Drenched Lemon and it rejuvenate, reju rejuvenates your yummy looking skin. It's a natural sugar scrub and it is... Um, this line, what he's trying to do is bring good skin care at an affordable price that's safe for you and the planet. And everything about his skincare line is recyclable, so you can put it right in your recycle bin. Uh, it's all natural products. Nobody's harmed while making this. Anyway, I went to Ulta and I found this. I think it was just under $10, and it's his lemon scrub. It has a yummy, yummy scent to it. Um, the, I think the container is a little hard to get open once the grit of the uh, sugar gets around. I think it's a little hard to open and close, but it is very strong in lemon. But it's fabulous and it rinses nice it doesn't leave a greasiness on your skin so I'm enjoying this and like I said this can be found at Ulta and that's it the name of it he actually um, saw my video and uh, sent me a whole box of things to try some of the things I will be able to try and some I won't but I will trust it into the hands of a very um, you know, a good girlfriend or something to tell me what they're experiencing. I can't use uh, bath soaks and stuff because of urinary tract infections. Um, and they're highly perfumed, so I can't use them. Even on some of the labels, I think his package says if you, if you get urinary tract infections, not to use it. So anything that's in a bath, I know it's more information than you need, but ladies, it's realist, it's reality. We get them. And sometimes it's from using products that are uh, you sit in and they're highly fragranced. So, like I said, I won't be able to use the... Um, some of the bath products, but I will use all the rest, okay? So that's my second product that I'm loving. Okay, I introduced you to some shower gels by Nubian Heritage, and one of my peeps said to me, you have to try the goat's milk chai soap with rose extracts by the Nubian Heritage Company. So I did, and I went and bought, uh, they were $2.99 or $3.99. I don't use regular bath soap, I don't use Doves, I don't use Safeguard, any of those. I always use shower gels or really nice soaps because um, my skin is so dry. So anyway, I did go and buy this and I ended up buying four more bars of it because I'm afraid they're gonna run out of it, but I also bought some of the coconut papaya. I bought a few of them. Love, love, love this soap. That's what the package looks like. And the smell is gorgeous. 
Now it says rose, but you really don't smell that. It's not that rose rose. It is beautiful, but what's really nice about this is it actually has um, finely ground chai rose petals for light exfoliation in it. It is gorgeous. You see those brown things? They are an exfoliation, So, and it's very creamy, and I just love it, love it, love it. So thank you to the people that told me I needed to try this because I love it, love it. There's honey in it. <clears throat> Excuse me, all natural, no parabens, just beautiful, just and no animal testing, okay? So no furry friends are hurt trying to make this. Beautiful, okay? The next product is, of course, my Bioderma, and my sweet friend Joelle sent me a large bottle of it, so I am good to go with my Bioderma. I still have just a little bit of the cute little uh, gift with purchase she had sent me. Love it. So she sent me a new bottle of that, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, if you can find a reputable company on Amazon, I think Debic won one of her videos. She listed a reputable, maybe I'll get in touch with her and I'll, or I'll go look for that video and link it below so that you can get a hold of this stuff. It is fantastic. Fantastic. If you've had a bad experience, you may have gotten a bad bottle because I know I did. Next thing I'm still using and still liking and will order again is the SkinCeuticals Antioxidant Lip Repair Restorative Treatment for Damaged Aging, aging Lips. I don't think that it's taken any of my wrinkles away. I think my, they're around my mouth. I think they're in better condition and it may be eliminating. So that's what I tell myself. Now my pump did stop working, but you can pull it right out of its container and then just unscrew this and you have your, you can just put it on and you're good to go, okay? If people think you contaminate that way, you're contaminating, contaminating with your own germs, so it's okay with me. But anyway, I really, really, really am enjoying this product, okay? I'll just stay right around with lips since, um, well, did I bring the lips up? Yes, I did. Another product that I'm enjoying, I talked about this way back in early November. I had never seen anybody on YouTube talking about it of the people that I watch. Uh, and I had read about it in magazines, but I had never seen it. I walked in my little boutique, and there it was. So I bought it early November. I've been using it ever since, every single night. Absolutely love it on my second jar of the scrub. Um, I bought mine in a set. I think they're $24 each individual. Uh, fabulous and it's by Sarah Happ it's her lip scrub and her lip slip which I think is just fabulous love 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 these products um, uh, you can go to sarahapp.com and order these she has several different flavors that come in this and um, I just love it love it I like it much better than that medicinal nasty sugar scrub that Sephora sells. For me, it was just nasty, okay? So I'm loving that. Another lip balm that I like that has a totally different appearance to it because this one is very silky smooth, shiny. And Joelle sent me this one, and it's by the company Nooks. And it is their um, lip balm for dry or chapped lips. This one has a very beautiful lemon smell to it, but it's a matte. So if you don't like real shiny lips or you want to use it underneath something that you don't want it being slipping off and real glossy, this is a fabulous one because there's no sheen to it. It's just, it's a matte, but it's beautiful. It has a beautiful slip to it and uh, very conditioning. I have not suffered at all with dry peely chap lips this year, especially the winter months, none. So I attribute that to using and focusing on my scrub and using good lip uh, balms. And uh, the Nooks line, you can, uh, we can get in the United States here. Another product, I'm going to do this as a group. Now, these are very expensive, but um, I'm going to show them because there's people out there that like to invest in good skin care. I, uh, I have a small sample of the eye and lip cream that Joelle sent me, and Joelle also did send me the, um, the cream in this. Uh, I also have the serum, but um, I'm just going to show you these two. The uh, lip and eye contour, I will um, say this is just fabulous. And it is by Christian Dior, and it is the Laure de, de Vie line. Beautiful. Beautiful eye cream. If you were wondering, if you've been on the fence about buying this, it's exquisite. Very expensive. I don't need to be told very expensive because I live in a realistic world and I know that not everybody can afford to buy this, but some people can. So I like to 
I like to spread the money love. Okay, so uh, very expensive, but um, I feel the need to share, okay? Uh, this is the Le Creme from Dior, and it is the Laure de V-Line. Beautiful. Very concentrated, very gorgeous. Beautiful. The scent is not strong. Some creams you get the scents are too strong. Just gorgeous. I have a little bit left. Well, I have quite a bit left still. Um, the packaging is just gorgeous. You hate to throw it away. Just these two products are absolutely beautiful. I can tell you that the serum that this line sells is exquisite. Um, very, very concentrated. You need very little, but beautiful products. Just beautiful. Okay, uh, the next Christian Dior product that I've been loving and I did a, a, a video on is the BB cream. Someone so told me that it was very expensive for some people to still buy this. That is true, but if you think about it, if you're someone who wears a foundation, a moisturizer, and a sunscreen, this is all in one. So you don't have to do that if you don't want. If you're somebody that really wants to try this, you can eliminate while you're using this tube because it has a 30 uh, SPF. It is a moisturizer and it has color to it so you can give this a try but I am loving it. it is the only BB cream that I've ever used that I actually enjoy okay next product I am loving and sweet Joelle sent me another tube of it this is something for the European audience I don't know if uh, we can get this in the United States but this is my most favorite favorite foot cream and it's called Topi cream works really well for me because it has 10% urea in it. Anything that has urea in it will break down dry skin. So this works really, really well for me. Non-greasy, put it on my feet all the time. Love, love, love it, okay? Uh, the next thing I'm really enjoying are my Samantha Chapman brushes. I didn't think that I would really love these. These things are like, they're so beautiful and they're really nice brushes. They do shed a little bit, but I've never met a brush that didn't shed just a little bit. I mean, we shed, why wouldn't a brush wanna shed? Uh, but anyway, I'm really enjoying the Real Technique brushes. Uh, another product that Joelle sent me that I am in love with, I have it on my cheeks today, and I just love it, is the uh, Terracotta Sun in the City Golden Glimmer Powder, A Sweep of Sunlight. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I used this in my bronze makeup tutorial. I talk about it a little bit. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to go and see it. Another thing I am absolutely loving is my uh, SkinCeuticals uh, CE Ferulic and Hydrating B5 Gel. Uh, a lot of you have been saying to me, oh my God, what are you doing? You're looking younger. I have been using these and I do not use a Retin-A. Um, my skin just responds horrible to it. I sh I'm constantly peeling, you know, scaly. I don't like that look. My makeup doesn't go on well. So I had to find something that would help me. Vitamin C is, they say, is one of the best at reversing sun damage. So um, I am, now these are very expensive, but they have lasted me a long time. And I did buy them in a set on some drugstore site. And, uh, very nice. This was very nice. The B was very nice for the winter for that extra boost of moisture. But I've been really, really, really enjoying these and I use them with my light stim. Okay? Beautiful. Would buy those again. Uh, I will probably buy the C right away, but not the B5 because I still have half a bottle of that one. Okay? And there is, uh, for your vitamin C, if you are buying a vitamin C product, they are not all the same. You want to look for this particular vitamin C, okay? L-absorbic acid. That is the best vitamin C for the face, okay? Uh, the next product, I just did a video and I talked to you about these new oils. I am really, really loving the Geisha um, Belly James body oils. Divine, love them, love them. Um, sunscreen I've been using in the summer. I use two of them. I use Goop, which I didn't bring in here, but I do use that. But for my face, I do like the Kiehl's SPF 50 Super Fluid. Very liquidy, very, it's like silk going on, very nice, doesn't interfere. Okay, peeps, I'm back. Although you didn't know I was missing until 
my video cut off. I ran out of HD room. So I had to stop the camera, go down, upload them, erase uh, what I had on here to start all over again. But anyway, I don't have to start all over. I'm just going to do a little edit, which you just saw. Okay? Okay, so I was talking about the Kiehl's uh, Superfluid Sunscreen. Um, it doesn't interfere with the application of your makeup. Now, do I need to use this while I'm using the BB cream by Christian Dior? No, I don't. But I don't always use the BB cream every day. I do use other foundations. So I do use um, this under all of those. And another thing is, is when I wear nothing on my face, I always put this sunscreen on because it has a great protection. So I really like that. And it doesn't break my skin out. And uh, it's a little pricier, but uh, your face and your skin on your face, if you're trying to anti-age, um, it's worth it. Okay. There are other ones. Uh, there's, um, there is one in the drugstore. I'll put it right here that I have read that many dermatologists recommend. So I'll put that one right here. I think it's the Eucerin um, sunscreen, but I'll be sure. Put it right here for you peeps. Okay. Okay. The next thing that I am loving are two products that Joelle has sent me. And uh, I talked about these briefly in a video uh, before. Now I use this, I'm just cleaning it up because it's it's my old one that's been in the shower. Um, it is black soap. And it is very different from the black soap that we are familiar with here in the United States. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to get this, if you have somebody that can send you products um, from Europe. I'm sure it's throughout Europe. You may be able to find this in places like Toronto or Montreal. Um, my peeps that are from those areas, please let us know. Um, and if you have a good website that sell, sends international, please let us know that too. This soap is gorgeous. Um, it is a black soap. I have very little left of it. However, Joelle has sent me a backup. And it is Savon Noir. Savon Noir. And it is Marius Fabre. It is um, a black soap with olive oil. Just fabulous. I'm going to read a little bit of what this soap does. You will feel so super clean and prepared for all of your other treatments after using this. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, it is the black soap. Uh, is a natural emollient containing olive oil which allows with the help of a massage glove to remove dead skin making it thinner and therefore rendering the penetration of dry oil, moisturizing milks, face mask more effective. Uh, it helps to keep a suntan longer. Excellent for after hair removal, after I wax my legs. I do it before and after. Um, extra, here's the instructions. After a hot shower, rub a spoonful of black soap on, massaging with the palm of your hand or whole body uh, and whole body face for a minute. Rinse thoroughly and complete the body scrubbing with a special glove, which is your exfoliating gloves. Uh, then rub the body dry oil on. I just use argan oil, uh, my geisha body oil, any oil that I happen to be in love with that moment. Okay, and it could be several. But anyway, uh, ideal also for men looking for an effective gentle shaving. I love these black soaps. If you can get your hands on this type, so fabulous. Okay, another product that uh, also uh, has black soap in it, I'm just cleaning it up a little, it's been in the shower, is um, this one is by Galenic. And this is their, uh, it's a dry skin nutrition body black soap scrub, and it has argan oil in it. Uh, this one here, I exfoliate on a dry skin, and then I get in the shower. Oh, it's just wonderful, wonderful. I, I soon may have to say I am no longer the crocodile lady, but it's a black soap, but it has little grains in it, and it smells just like that black soap, but this one has an exfoliation system to it. So if you can get this one, and this, here's the name of that one, Galenic Aragon Black Soap Exfoliator. Beautiful peeps. Love it. Love it. Another oil that I've been really enjoying, now this one here, I originally started researching because I read an article on how emu oil was good for broken capillaries on the face. Now, I don't know if it's working on mine. I have very small broken capillaries right around my nose. I think it's because I'm always blowing my nose. 
because of the constant drip. But anyway, that's where I have, I have some people get them here on their cheeks. I don't have them anywhere there, but I do have them just slightly around my nose. So I thought, hmm, I'll try the emu oil. Well, I found a site uh, and it's called emuoilpure.com. This is what it looks like. Now the emu oil comes from an Australian bird. So I'm sure that my Australian peeps are very familiar with the emu oil. Um, I remember uh, one of my massage, I had a pulled muscle in the back and I went to have a massage. She works for Ilsa and she uh, noticed that my feet were very dry and she actually gave me a jar of cream that had emu oil in it, but I really never paid it. It was just a small little jar and I didn't really pay any attention to it. I thought, oh yeah, just another cream for the feet, but maybe I should have used it. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, pure emu oil skin repair is all natural, contains no chemical fillers or artificial preservatives that can damage your skin. Pure skin repair nourishes and hydrates aging skin back to a youthful, healthy appearance. It moisturizes and reduces the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Pure Emu Oil Skin Repair is gentle for all skin types, non-toxic, will not clog pores, and it's non-irritating. So it's great for all skin types. And its active ingredient is 100% pure Emu Oil. And the directions is to wash your skin gently with a mild soap and warm water, pat it dry with a clean towel, apply sparingly. It is uh, because it's easier to um, add more than take off because this one's a little more on the oily side but what I do with this is I use this one at nighttime before I go to bed and I'm mixing it in with another body lotion that I'm enjoying right now. I mix it in and I put it on my legs and I have to tell you that my, my legs are looking much better. The crocodile is leaving me. She is leaving me. But anyway, I um, rub it into my hands and um, my legs, I haven't been putting it on my feet because I use the topi cream on my feet, but uh, I may start putting the, mixing it in with my topi cream and see if that helps my feet. But the emu oil is uh, really a nice oil and um, this one here happens to be made in the USA. Um, and it says stop using if you have redness or irritation, but that's true for anything. So anyway, I'm really enjoying the emu oil too. Okay, uh, when you have dry skin, body skin like me, and I think it's because our water is very hard where I'm from, uh, you will use anything to try to make yourself look better, your skin will feel better, because it doesn't feel good to be in tight skin. Anyway, this is um, another, this lotion uh, Joelle sent me, and it is by Bioderma, and she likes this one especially for after waxing the body. She leaves me little red hearts, little pink hearts. Uh, anyway, let me take this off of here so you can see what it is. This is the one I've been mixing a little bit in with my emu oil. And I do this especially after I'm waxing my legs because I have been waxing my legs. It's something new for me, but we're, we're trying. Anyway, this is the cream that is from Bioderma. And it's very, very, very nice. It's, uh, it is an ultra-nourishing emollient balm, very dry to atopic sensitive skin. Really, really lovely. Right here? tells you. Okay? Very, very nice and I love it mixed with my emu oil. The last thing I'm going to show you that I absolutely love is by Caudalil and I use this every day underneath my um, moisturizer, makeup, whatever. I usually put my moisturizer on first and then I use this over the top of it. It is Vino Perfect. It's a radiance serum complexion correcting. And it's an anti-dark spot, antioxidant, and it's oil-free. It has with vinifarin 1000 olive squalene. And this here, it's a cult favorite. This oil-free serum, highly concentrated in vinifarin, boosts skin's radiant, reduces and lightens dark spots, and corrects in even tones. Now, I started using this when Joelle sent me a little sample. Um, like... In this box she sent me, the last box she sent me, she always sends me little gift with purchase or samples of things. And so I'm able to try these products. And then if I like them, I can get Caudalil um, here. I have loved it for years. I have used some of their other products. This one here is really just beautiful. Now, I don't have a lot of dark spots, but I do have a few sunspots. But Ilsa says they're so, they're so mild. And um, I'm not sure if this has been helping me, but um, really, I just love it. It gives you a nice little radiance 
a, a nice glow, it feels wonderful, and everyone knows that the, the grape and the wine and the resveratrol, which is a lot, is present in a lot of their products, is really good for the skin. So I really love this. Now it is a pricier item, it's $79. This jar, it comes with a, a stopper. You need just like two little drops, will or three drops will go over your whole face and it just gives you a beautiful glow without being you know full of glitter or anything like that just a beautiful product that is also serving a purpose as far as anti-aging so these are some of the things I am loving I thought I would bring you a book that I'm reading now I am an avid reader I love to read mysteries whodunits um, you know I read all kinds of books but you know for pleasure I just I really like the uh, serial you know, the whodunits. I like the killer books. I don't know why, but I don't like romantics, wishy-washy, harlequin romance. That's not me. And I read so many of the, um, I can't think of her name now. Oh, she went under two names, Nora Roberts. I read all her books. I read all the other, they became so predictable. I was able to, oh, I know how this is going to end. So right now I'm reading a Lisa Gardner book and it's called The Other Daughter. I just got done reading one of her other books. Let me see if I can put the name. Oh, Love You More. I just read that one. A little slow to start, but it turned out to be really a good book, which made me go and buy this one. And, you know, I don't really always buy my books from the bookstore. If you have a Sam's, a BJ's, um, a Costco, you can get books at a really good price. I mean, this was $5.49. I think I might even got this at Walmart. I might have. But anyway, um, that's what I'm reading right now, The Other Daughter. I just, um, I'm only on page uh, 132, so it's just starting to get juicy and starting to get into the real. This, this woman, her books take a long time to catch on, but once they do, they're really good. And uh, my next one is a Karen Slaughter book that I'm going to read. But anyway, I thought I would start sharing my books because it's summertime and we all like to sit out and relax in our free time and read books. Okay, peeps. As usual, I'd love to hear if you're using any of these products, and um, I hope that if you've never heard of these, I've introduced you to something new that might be what you've been looking for, and um, just leave it all in the comments for us, okay? Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. It's an anti-ager. Have a great day, everybody. Love you guys. Bisous.